Ephesians chapter 4. You know, it's tearing me apart to see people going the way they are. And they don't listen to me. I see a vision of a, of a big hole, a really big hole in the ground. And thousands of people are, and I'm yelling, I'm before the hole, and I'm yelling at them to stop. I mean, with passion, stop, look. And you just pass right by me, and they drop all in there. Nothing I can do about it. God said, you go tell, I'll catch something. You ever watch uh, the bears eating the fish in, in springtime, I think? They stand where the water is running there, and the fish are going to do something, whatever, and they're coming, and they got their mouth open, and the fish fall right into their mouth. This is what this reminds me of. <clears throat> People are so lost, they're so blind, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. <coughs> Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15. But speaking the truth in love <coughs> may grow up into him in all things. When you speak, I mean, it's, it's easier to understand than that. When you speak the truth to people, it's because you have grace. When you feel to put yourself. Some people have said in the past, well, you're so opinion, opinionated. Hey, listen, I speak this. If you don't agree with my opinion, that you call my opinion, which it is, uh, read this and tell me what it means. <clears throat> but we speak the truth in love may grow up in, unto him in all things. The reason I have preached for so long in my life is for people to get something out of it and to grow from it. You know, imagine if Christ came back in five minutes from now. Would you be ready? You've been spoken the truth for many years. <clears throat> Which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together. Listen, I miss you because you fit with me. <coughs> Is this what happened to me last night? No. Is this what happened to Ed last night? No. Is this what happens to you? You are you fitly joined together? When you say fitly joined together, <coughs> is whoever you're with. I mean, you, you care for them, and you fitly you fit with them. When you go visit some of your family, if you do, and you feel uncomfortable, you can't say nothing. You are certainly not fit joining it together. <coughs> From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by by that which it that compacted by that which even joined supply, <clears throat> according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, making increase of the body unto the edifying of itself. Increase of the body here. I want you to notice that word. Increase of the body. Okay? Does not mean that you're getting to be as big as uh, Southland. The increasing of the body is you are growing in the things of God. That's the increasing of your body. How people just read and don't understand, have no understanding of spiritual things. <clears throat> Making increase of the body unto the identification of itself in love. See, it's talking about yourself. It's not talking about a church. It's talking about you. And if you're all here, you're the church, but each individual. To identify yourself that you may help. You, when this happens to you, you can help people. If this doesn't happen to you, you can't help anybody. You're as dead as they are. 17. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles. Do you see what I mean? Don't walk like other Gentiles. Who is he talking about? He's telling here people of God, a man of God, saying, don't walk like after the, 
like the Gentiles. Who's that? People that don't care for God. Don't act like them when you're around them. Don't act like them, period. <clears throat> Walk not as other Gentiles. But they're walking, they talk about God, but they don't have a clue of God. So don't be one of them. If you're going to talk about God, make sure you know who, where God is and who God is. In the vanity of their mind is that ever unbelievable. In their head is empty. You cannot help somebody if your head is empty. And if you have a financial problem, don't go to an empty head because they're not going to help you. Vanity. In the, don't, don't walk in, in the vanity. Don't take advice from them because they have the vanity. They, they, they're empty of their mind. They, there's no power. There's nothing behind what they say. Having the, having the understanding darkness. You see, listen. This I've never spoke for it for a long time. I know I did in the messages. but Okay. God is touching you. Here we want to give thanks today. We want to take, give thanks to God. Okay? And we want to give thanks to whatever you got from the Lord that from that moment you're going to try and get some more. And you're going to try and get some more. And that's how you're going to go. Don't give up and go back. Because you're going to fit with the unbeliever and the people that talk with vanity. You must keep growing. Hey, hey the price is so easy. The price is so easy to pay. You just believe. And, and if you believe, you're going to talk to him because you believe in him. And automatically the, new, the, the inner man grows. I think that understanding darkness, that's when you walk away from what the little that you have. Your mind becomes darkness. You walk like us. You know what? Any one of you that listens to them, and some of you have talked to them, is so discouraging to listen to how they talk. By the way, they talk, you know that they, they're empty-headed. And you want to help them? And there's no way you can help them. You have people that will talk against you, that run you down, that's, oh yeah, but their pastor does this and that. I mean, they'll use any excuse to. And Satan behind it to attack. You don't want, listen to me, from the time you're born, your mind increases in the knowledge of the things of the flesh. From the time you you're, you read your first breath. So the time that God has touched you, you need to do the same thing. Why would you let one grow and not the other one? The one that the one that will give you eternal life. This is important. The one that you pay attention more to that one if, if you're gonna pay attention to anyone else. More to that one. Having that understanding darkness, being alienated <coughs> from the life, being alienated, uh, alienated, alienated, even though it's a word that I never learned in school, is to keep you away from God. Alienated, that you will not have the chance to get to know God. You will never have the chance. People do not understand what faith is, and they don't understand what it is to have a fellowship and communication and a, 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 a relationship with God. They don't have a clue. I, I, the man that helped me this week, I took the motor out of my uh, 58 in Bala. Nice man. And he has more light than others, but boy. I said, you told me I can come and give a testimony in your church. It has not happened yet. I want that opportunity to come and speak in your church. He says, yes, I know. We got. I said, don't tell me we got to do that. You told me that a year ago. I didn't forget. And I'm waiting for the fall. When is that going to happen? Are you going to press towards the mark? Are you going to press to have opportunity that you will never have a chance to? Do it. Do it. And watch God work in your life. <clears throat> Being alienated from the life of God. When you do things from the inner man, you're getting not this alienated. You get closer. You get more of God. And God can use you more. Don't go the other way. I'm thankful to God 
that I got such a hard time to read and I understand. Isn't that something? Understanding and you don't know what you're reading? You want a miracle? There's one. You're looking at one. I mean, I cannot get over what God has done for me when the internet, but you see, their flesh has never went to school, never learned anything. But the inner man is alive and wants to use the flesh to speak, but the flesh can't speak, but it's doing its best. Amen, Glenda? Okay. <clears throat> I knew things are in the If I didn't have that inner man that's telling me, hey, I can operate on heart surgery. If I've got something in my ear and somebody's telling me, and he's got a big camera on it. Okay, don't touch that nerve. Touch this one. Otherwise, I'll cut the nerve that's right here. See? Because I got somebody telling me. Well, it's my inner man that speaks when people ask me questions. I don't know. But the inner man knows. That's the grace of God. I'm excited because I know what I got. I know what's inside of me. I know what my flesh is, but I know what's inside of me too. And I, the more that you call on God and the more that you, you get on His side, the more wisdom you have and the more God works through you and there's no end. Eyes have not seen. Neither hear have heard. Neither did it enter into the hearts of men. You know what? You can't imagine what will happen to you the day that you let God have His way. The things that God has prepared for them that love Him. But He says, I, didn't, I have revealed it to you by my spirit, what's in you. Having their understanding darkness being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. If you don't have God in you, you're an ignorant person. Just read it. I didn't write it in your Bible. That's what it says. Do the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of the what? Inner man. The heart is the inner man. When the inner man has never became born, never became pregnant, never, nothing has ever happened, what do you expect from it? Nothing. You're led, guided, and speak through the flesh, and that's it. You've got only one working for you. Me, I got two. God and the inner man, when it's time, and he wants to use it, and then the flesh. And the inner man is steady as taught my flesh. Remember the message I preached one time? Wisdom walks with me. The woman that was in such trouble, and some of you, why, what happened? Wisdom was walking with me. And when you're under grace, that's what you should have. How can you be under grace and be talk vanity? It's impossible. <clears throat> because of the blindness of the heart. You know, that is such blindness. And if you're not there, you need to be a thankful person to God. That you could go for. You know what? Are you always... Listen to me for a minute. I think you have not been listening. Do you look during the week for somebody to talk to? For somebody that's in trouble? Boy, I tell you, I wish I could turn their ears and make them talk to me. And they won't. And they're in darkness. And they're scared to talk to me. Because they get, they're scared of what I'm going to tell them. And some of them hate you. They don't know you. I have people that don't want to talk to me and never met me. It's the spirit they got in them. My fight is not with them. It's that spirit that's in them. Who being, okay. Because of blindness of their heart. Who being past feeling. Okay, look. Who being past feeling. At one time they had feeling. At one time they came to God. Or at one time God touched them. But they went the way of the world and now the conviction is not upon their life anymore. Their past feeling. But you don't want to be there. That not, God cannot even speak to you. You ignore Him. You ignore His word. God can, your past feeling guilty. You're past that. Whom being past feeling ha have given themselves over to lasciviousness. And that's just one problem. That because of that, you, you'll hit lots of them, but they can't write them all. Why would they? 
to work all on cleanliness with with but we okay on cleanliness listen to me listen to me people that don't know nothing they look at verse like that oh they're on cleanliness and they and you start judging of what they do if you have no feet you're unclean period don't try to figure which sin that is if you have not faith in God if you have not been saved by his grace you're an unclean person to begin with God wants nothing to do with you unless the inner man comes alive your past feeling how in the world can you and they all call the ones that have their past feeling they all claim to be Christian all of them I told this guy that I worked with and him and his son he wanted me to give my testimony as we were working and I said you know what it's all about faith it's not about how good you are it's about your faith in God you know instead of trying to quit all kinds of things may I say don't quit nothing the man that came to me a week ago he says I thought you were going to tell me I says you don't believe you're, you're not interested in that and I know you're not so why would I be talking to you about that now verse 20 okay verse 19 being uh, who being past feeling I mean you're past feeling you used to have feeling but now you don't care for nothing you don't care for God you don't talk to God anymore are you here not when I talk about this are you here are you one of them that's past feeling that used to talk to God and doesn't anymore 20 but he have not so learned Christ you're not growing when you're past feeling, you don't, you're past learning too. You don't learn anything. Watch. 19. Whom being past feeling had, had given themselves over unto the lasciviousness, one of the sin, and to work all uncleanliness with... Okay. And that's all unbelievable. Unbelievable. But ye have, and you have not learned Christ. He didn't say the sin. You have not grown. He said, you don't. You don't know nothing about Christ. Why? Because he has not made himself. Uh, he at one time he touched you, but he's not touched you for a long time. So there's a blockage there. There's something hindering you, and you need to do something about it. Don't stay there. There's a big hole there. Don't go falling in it. Increase in knowledge. Mm -hmm. If so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him so if so be that you have heard of him how do you heard of him by the mouth here and you've been taught by him most people been taught by god here. if so that you have heard about god you thought there was a god but he didn't do nothing for you until he came to manifest himself to you and then from that moment you, you keep on growing never mind what you do wrong it's not up to you to fix that. It's up to him. What a message of grace is that and how easy is it to serve God. He's doing it for you. Mm -hmm. Some of you don't let him do anything for you. <clears throat> but he have not so learned Christ. If so be that he have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth in Christ that he put off concerning the former conversation the old man like get rid of this monkey on your back which is corrupted if all you got to do and all you got to say and all you got to feel is not Christ but it's things of the flesh you're the most merciful person I feel sad I wish I could beat the truth in you but I can't that's God's job I must do my job and try and help you. <clears throat> you know, it's so good to open the Bible and in any way you just can start talking. And God will speak to you. Don't, it, listen, today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. You've heard his voice many times. What have you done? <clears throat> That he put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. I mean, listen, let the new man work in your life. The old man is the flesh, okay? 
That's the former thing. That's what you, what you were born with. But you were supposed to be of the Spirit of God. The new man must grow inside of us. So don't go back to stay with the old conversation. Man, which is corrupted according to the deceitfulness, this deceitfulness of lust. The old man, the flesh, is not going to do you any good. Man, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you the truth. If this is only life you got, come on now, stop. Stop and examine yourself. If this is the only life we have, okay, that I'll say like the kids that suck. Can you imagine this to be the only life? You work all your darn life to feed your kids, for them to feed their kids, and you die like a dog. Okay, that's a miserable way to live. Something funny in there, Pastor? <laughs> that would be miserable. <laughs> I'm just no, no, but really. Yeah. Working like a nut, sweating, and, and everything's going wrong. And you're walking with something, and Anil grabs your pants and rips them all the way to the back. And things are just going wrong and wrong, and you're so frustrated. Can you imagine if that's all we've got? That's what the world thinks. You're the most merciful person. <clears throat> that he put off concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupted according to the deceitful, deceitfulness of lust. And be renewed in the spirit of the inner man. It says the mind. That's what the, the mind is. Be renewed all the time. Today you're, you're thankful for what God has done. Don't back slide. Whenever you, you, if ever you were at a place that you're not today, repent and ask God to put you there and from there move on. Don't stay there. Move on. Mm -hmm. Because when the trumpet will sound, only those that has the ear of the inner man will hear the trumpet. If you're in the flesh, you will not hear the trumpet. Because that, that, that trumpet is a spiritual sound. That will come from God. And if the inner man is dead, you will not hear it. You will not hear the last trumpet. And it'll be too late. You'll be taken away. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You know, he's saying, let it's important that the inner man grows. That's what's going to make it. Otherwise, it's so scary. Well, I would want to be in that position. That, that's what came, caused me to come to God. That's to begin with. That's the first thing I heard. What I'm telling you today is I never knew God, never talked to God, never... I thought maybe there's a God, but I'm not sure. And all of a sudden, He came to me. And He spoke to me. And He said to me, You're going to work hard, and you're going to die, then man. I freaked out. Like I came to a realization. Okay, this is ugly. My goodness, I was just a young guy. I didn't think, well, okay, I've got 55 years of, of sinning and I can run around and I can do all kinds of things. I didn't think that. I thought, God, have mercy on me. And is it, is it, are you real? So when I heard his voice, I wasn't, didn't know where, where that voice came from. But I started to speak to that voice and ask him if he was real. And that's what happened to me. I made, no, listen, this is what caused me and I made the decision to come to Christ and have Christ in my life is then. I want eternal life. Listen, fella. I want eternal life. And God's going to send me to hell like everybody thinks? I think not. And he told me that if I believe in him, I can have eternal life. Believing it's not, it's acting upon what you say you believe. And if you believe, you're going to have the testimony that comes behind it. You're going to speak and bring fruit meat for repentance, like John the Baptist said. You want to be baptized, bring fruit. Testify of what happened. Some people in here cannot testify. And, uh, uh, and John the Baptist told the Pharisee, testify of what happened to you if something happened. That's why you don't hear testimony because nothing ever happens to them. Yeah. Do you 
sick, if something happens to you, you're going to keep quiet? No. May I die right now if that's the facts? You, nobody is going to be able to keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. You'll become just like me. Okay? Amen, somebody? Amen. No, you know what? <laughs> nobody is going to have a touch from God and keep quiet. You can't. You can't keep quiet. Oh, boy. I don't want, I see, I'm going to go and to visit those people and I'm going to sit down, I'll be good, I won't talk. But I can't help it. The trumpet sounds and I speak. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm so thankful to you, Lord, today. You're so good. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that you put on the new man. I want you, he said, to have the new man. I want your new man to be alive. Work according to the new man, not the old man. I want you to be alive. I want you to take care of it. I don't want you to abort it. If God touched you, don't abort it. You know? After all is done at the end of the day, I sit in the corner and I say, Lord, I haven't talked to you today. But Lord, I sure love you. Even though I neglect you, you don't neglect me. I don't trust myself, but I trust you. And Lord, you ask me to deliver me from evil. You ask me for me to ask you to deliver me. Deliver me from evil. Why would I ask God to deliver me from evil if I didn't do anything that's evil? If he doesn't deliver me, what do you think I would do? Because he delivers me and I still do things bad. You see, I don't want to show you how wonderful grace is. You know, the worst thing you can do is judge a person after the fact. Okay, you're an ignorant son of a gun. I didn't swear. I can close. I can't finish. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. That, and that he put on the new man which is after Christ is created. You see, listen to me. Listen to me. I speak the way I do because I have that creation inside of me. I speak after the new man. I don't speak after the flesh. I told people, when I talk to you about the Lord, you think I'm a nut. What I'm saying is in your Bible. You just ignore it. But it's there. I believe it. What did I do to deserve that? What did I do to deserve God the way He has uh, uh, demonstrate his grace in my life. What have I done for that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I can't speak for everybody, but I can speak for myself. You know, at the end of the day, when I, things go bad, and I have an experience like this week, and I feel so bad for this poor girl, and my goodness, and everybody's taking advantage of her, instead of picking her up, they're stepping on her. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man which is after Christ. Hey, this is what's going to make you grow. It's created in righteousness. <clears throat> when you say I'm righteous, well, that's Christ. He's righteous. And the inner man is righteous. That's what's going to live. It's that righteous man. And he doesn't need doors to get out of here. And true holiness. Wherefore, put away all lying, speaking evil, the truth with your neighbor, for we are member one of another. Be not angry, sin not, let not, sin not. Start believing. Okay? Sin not here does not mean you can't, don't do nothing wrong. Get a heart after God and this, you cannot sin. Mm -hmm. How many times I told you you can't sin? Some of you have not gotten it. But one of these days I hope to God that you get a revelation. He that is born of God, sin not. Okay. <clears throat> Neither give place to the devil. Larry, come and speak.